start here back in 1857, when Henry Sykes first came to London and started a business over there on Upper Thames Street. A little while later, the first manufacturing facility was opened on Bankside, adjacent to Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. Henry Sykes was born in Sheffield in 1822, and after becoming renowned for his engineering innovations, moved to London at the age of 35 to establish Henry Sykes Engineering. This part of London was very different back then. The Thames was a busy industrial river, and the Pool of London was a bustling quay at the centre of major development. During the early days, Henry specialised in steam-driven machinery, with emphasis on hoists, winches and pumping equipment. Much of this equipment was used in the construction of the Thames embankment, bridges and jetties. The business grew quickly, with many new products introduced, leading to Henry being given numerous awards for engineering development. Incredibly, some of the units manufactured in the 1860s are still in working order today. As the business continued to expand, additional manufacturing facilities were required, which resulted in the opening of the Bankside factory just across the river from Upper Thames Street. Henry Sykes passed away in 1879 at the relatively young age of 57, leaving his widow, Margaret Sykes, and eldest son, also named Henry, to run the business. They were soon joined by Henry's nephew, Edmund Jackson, who went on to become a major influence in the business's development over the next 40 years. With Edmund at the helm, Henry Sykes became a limited company in 1897. During this period, the business maintained a focus on winches, pile-driving plant and, of course, pumps. In fact, during the First World War, specialist hoists built by Henry Sykes were used to raise and lower observation balloons on battlefields across northern France. Many of the company's employees were called to arms during the war. One letter shows that employees were paid half their weekly salary and their positions kept open while they were away on national service. The company provided vital equipment to the British Army during the war, and this rising demand required a further increase in manufacturing facilities. A new factory was then opened in Southwark Street, close to London Bridge in 1916. The Bankside factory closed in 1920, and this preceded the opening of the Charlton Works in 1928. The Charlton factory was located within a few hundred yards of where our London office is based today, although at that time it was a 51-acre plot on Greenwich marshland. It was during this era that the hire operations started to develop quickly, with main contractors hiring both pumps and winches for major construction work along the Thames. This included the Henry Ford motor plant in Dagenham, which was opened in 1931. Recently, a pump that was built in 1930 was purchased back by our company and is now on display at our London office. Incredibly, this unit is still in full working order. By the time of the Second World War, Henry Sykes had become Britain's leading manufacturer and hirer of pumping equipment. Edmund Jackson passed away in 1939 the same year Britain declared war on Germany. Later that year, a large number of winches had been ordered for the erection of steel masts at points on the east and south coasts. The matter was of great urgency and was surrounded by an air of mystery. We were to learn a year or two later that they were used on radar installations that contributed so much to this country's survival during the Battle of Britain. Once again, Henry Sykes went on to provide vital equipment to the British forces throughout the Second World War. One particular case was the use of Sykes' pumps and winches during the construction of the Mulberry Harbours. The Mulberry Harbours were temporary ports developed by the British during the Second World War. They facilitated the swift offloading of cargo onto beaches during the Allied invasion of Normandy in June 1944. Being based in London, Sykes were also very much affected by the Second World War, as many of their men were called up for service. Those who remained 
sometimes had to attend work 24 hours a day to protect the business in case of incendiary bomb attacks. Following the end of the war, business flourished for both hire and sales as Britain rebuilt its cities and construction activities boomed. And in 1957, Sykes produced a special centenary anniversary book highlighting the first 100 years of the business. It was also in the late 1950s that Sykes' first fully self-priming centrifugal solid handling pumps were developed for the construction industry. It was at this time that the company's earliest Univac pump model was launched. Although the design had been developed and modernised during the past 60 years, you can still see the original design concepts in the current units used today. The 1960s and 70s produced rapid growth for the company, with many new brands developed, including Sykes Pumps and Sykes Construction Services. The factory was now producing thousands of pumps and the hire business grew fast, with new depots opening nationwide. In the UK, Sykes led the way in terms of developing complex temporary pumping schemes for applications such as waste treatment plants and oil terminals. This is not too dissimilar to what we do now in 2017. Overseas, Sykes were exporting pumps to every part of the globe, including a famous emergency hire in which pumps were flown overnight to the USA to assist flood recovery. Although Sykes had been providing pumps to the Middle East since the early days, it wasn't until 1977 that the company officially joined forces with Kansa Heb Construction in Dubai forming Kansa Heb Sykes, LLC. Here we can see the Sykes Pumps Managing Director, Anthony Hepper, centre, with the founder of Kansa Heb Construction, Mr. Hussein Abdulrahman Kansa Heb, left. Even in 2017, Mr. Hussein remains head of the Kansa Heb Group, and the Kansa Heb Sykes business now has over 130 employees across Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Oman, Bahrain, Kuwait, Saudi and Qatar. In 1977, Sykes Pump celebrated our 120th anniversary and introduced some merciful pumps to the hire range. By doing so, we became the first nationwide pump hire company in the UK to offer a full range of submersible pumps for sale and hire. During the 80s, the Sykes business changed shape and became focused on pump hire sales and service. Manufacturing was moved from London to a new purpose-built factory in Coleford, Gloucestershire, although the head office and hire operations remained on the same site in Charlton. It was then in the late 80s that Sykes Pumps merged with Andrews Industrial Equipment to form the Andrews Sykes Group and the current group structure. This merger added new products and locations to the joint operation, with locations spread across the UK, Europe and the Middle East, along with distributors and partnerships in America and Ireland. During the 90s, Sykes were involved in many of the most prominent pumping projects in the UK. This included the dewatering of the Western Quarry in Dartford, to accommodate the Blue Water Shopping Centre in a location that had previously been under several metres of water. During this period, more than 300 litres per second were pumped on a 24-hour basis over a mile from the site into the Thames. Sykes Pumps continues to be involved in many major pumping projects, including float-outs, oil refineries, bridge work, wastewater projects and even film sets. During this time, Sykes cultivated a reputation for providing an unbeatable 24-7 service nationwide, 365 days per year. This was assisted by the availability of experienced service engineers on call to help with any pumping emergency or unplanned requirement. At the turn of the millennium, Sykes pumps were used to help build the Jubilee Extension and clear contaminated groundwater on the site used to build the Millennium Dome, now known as the O2 Arena. In 2007, we celebrated 150 years since Henry Sykes first started the business. In recent years, 
Many new products have been developed to meet market needs and encompass new technology with major focus on environmental issues, reliability and efficiency. Our submersible pumps have been extended to include a huge range of specialist sewage and wastewater pumps with high efficiency explosion proof motors. We become first choice for water companies whenever temporary pumping systems are required. Today, our business employs over 600 staff across the UK, mainland Europe and the Middle East. During the past 12 months, Sykes Pumps have invested in record levels of additions to the hire fleet to ensure it remains updated and modernised. New products this year have included the Rapid Response Unit, new hydraulic submersible pump range, the Sykes Silterway and many more. We've also invested in new depots and upgraded existing properties, including our new head office in Wolverhampton. The company carries an extremely broad range of legislative accreditations, ranging from energy consumption, transportation and health and safety, underlining our commitment to safe practice and complying with the industry regulations that are in place. The company is committed to developing young people and helping them to progress through the ranks at Sykes Pumps. This vision has been made possible by the many apprenticeship schemes and training courses we offer, and there are plans to increase their availability even further going forward. More than 10% of our employees have been at the business for 20 years or more, equating to almost 60 members of staff. This theme of long service is something we're very proud of and hope to see even more of in the future. So, in 2017, we are celebrating our 160th anniversary with several special initiatives to commemorate what is a remarkable and unique date in our history. A number of things have changed since the business was established 160 years ago, but our unwavering commitment to providing high levels of service and optimum pumping solutions remains exactly the same.